What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to be doing uh, 2018 Road Glide Fuel Filter. And so what we got today, I'm about to show you right now. So what are you going to need for this job? You're going to need some gloves. Maybe grab a box. Fuel filter with the gasket. Part number is 61011-0. And it's a little boy, it's pretty small. My bike is at 24,000 miles right now. So I'm gonna just change mines now. Now that my bike is not is down right now, it's a few things I'm do, trying to do to my bike. So I don't have a plunger, I can find one, but I'm just gonna use this because with this, it it's pretty thick. Don't have needle noses, I'm pretty sure this will kink it out. And I'll get to that in a second with you guys to show you how this works. But we got tape. We need tape and Windex. So gloves, filter, some type of punch or something to knock the frame loose at least. And um, something to take it out with, some tape. Windex to clean up after you're done. So let's get to it. Actually, let's put on our gloves. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this step by step with you guys to let you guys follow me over what I'm doing. So why I said you need a punch, because this is what you need to hit over. First, I'm going to do step by step. We're going to disconnect this right here. Take your purge, your overflow purge, and um, take it apart. So what we're doing right now is we're going to start the bike, let all the gas run out until, until it shuts off. Then after that, shut it back off. Come right here. Take the fuse out. Take the fuse out. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the wiring, what we need to do to do this first. So let's remove the seat. Okay, so the wire that I'm talking about, you want to disconnect this before you take the fuse out. So we'll follow this line all the way down. And it comes to about right here. And this is what we need to disconnect. So I'm going to do that for you guys real quick. Okay, so we got it disconnected. What I'm going to do now is open up my garage door. I have to put my cats up and so they won't run out. But let's open this garage door. <laughs> reason why we open this garage door is because we do not want fuel fumes running in here and smelling it so let's put into action so we disconnected the plug we can disconnect this too also got that out the way boom now we're going to start the bike to let all the fuel run out let's do that Okay, so we're back to business. And what I did is um, I unplugged this little purge right here, took that apart, left that there. And then also we can move this out the way. And we could take this off now too. Let's do that. Okay. Out of our way. These two is out of our way. Let's do that. Unconnected. Everything is unconnected. So now what we're ready to do is go ahead and open this up. Let's do that. Give me one second. Forgot the hammer. Oh, and I made this for my bike. If you guys can see that. I put a little magnet on there and made my own so I could gas. My bike could just stay there.
so here we are with my old filter. This is the new filter. My bike got about 24,000 miles on it. And I just thought it was a good time just to do it. And it doesn't look all that bad, but I say it's dirty though. So you guys can see that yourself. So let's put the new one in. And we'll be done. Here we go. Start it up. Remember one thing, let's open this garage. Don't snap you. 